What's up, guys? I'm going to tell you a little secret. I have an addiction. And I need help. And I need your guys' help. So, together, I'm going to let you in on a secret. My addiction, I watch too much My Strange Addiction. And today, we're going to watch together. This one is messed up. This girl drinks gasoline. You know what you're saying? Like, damn. You should be dead. But this girl drinks it every day. And the thing that just blows my mind. So many questions, but. She's going to be surprised when she goes to the doctor and finds out the health risks. That just blows my mind. So let's watch this together. First, let's get to the intro. <laughs> Okay, so we're out in Welland. This girl's from Welland, Canada. I was coming to visit, and Welland's known for having canal, and now they have a girl that drinks gas. So let's check it out. Let's watch together. My name is Shannon. I'm Shannon. It's a wife's name. Don't you be drinking gas. Okay. 20 years old, and I'm addicted to drinking gasoline. Okay. I gotta stop. I gotta stop that for a quick second. I understand you're drinking gas, but you gotta hide that shit. Kind of like the water tequila trick. You have a water bottle, fill it up, and you put tequila in it. I know that's very bad advice, but you lugging around that canister? Like, what are you gonna tell people? Yeah, you know. My lawnmower needs gas. Like, come on. You gotta hide that shit. Well, that's part of the problem, too. Hide it from everybody, but you ain't hiding out that big red canister. And how does that start? Like, the smell. The smell alone. And the effects, like, you can't tell me, like, one day, I like the smell. I'm gonna take a little sip. You gotta know, like, the effects on your body, like... It's gonna kill you pretty quick. But I guess not. I can't go a day without it. Like, I crave it. I need it. I'll wake up, go to the washroom, and drink the gas. If I go out somewhere... Now, you... Maybe she doesn't live with her parents, but whoever she lives with... Who's rocking gas underneath the sink? You know what? Red flags. Do you have a boyfriend? When he kisses you? Damn. And if you have a pet, they're not going to go nowhere near you. I'll put it in a small water bottle. When I Okay, she's doing the Leahy thing, so... Yeah, she is rocking the water bottle. And that's an expensive... You know what? That's an expensive drink. All those taxes? She probably spends more drinking than driving on the fuel. I fill up my car. I'll put it all over my hand. I do it before I go to bed. It consumes your life. Even before bed? Burning, burning your throat all night. Wow. It's very disturbing. So does no one has an idea? Like, she has to break the news to someone? Like, you got a problem? One year ago, Shannon developed a deadly addiction to drinking gasoline. Since then, she's gone from tasting the toxic liquid on her fingers to taking swigs of it every day. So it just kept on getting progressively worse. So maybe it happened by accident. She was at the gas station and she... She's putting the, the handle back in and maybe a little bit of gas dripped and she touched it with her fingers and maybe smelt it and boom, she was addicted. It tastes like sweet and sour, like a tangy sauce. I swear to God, you know who else said that? There was an episode of Trailer Park Boys and uh, Corey and Trevor, it was for the, the cruise. 
Julian had this cruise, and uh, one of the ideas to make money was to have uh, a gas station at uh, the trailer park. So the boys, Corey and Trevor, would go to uh, the garage, and they would just siphon gas. And then Ricky told them that uh, diesel, what diesel tastes like, and gasoline, and I forget which one, but one of them said it tasted very sweet. So it's funny that she said that. It tingles at first, and then it burns the back of my throat. Even though it, it hurts me, it makes me... When she says it burns, like, I would expect to see, like, like, tissue disintegrating back there. Like, like, your tongue would be, like, a funny color, like, who knows? Like, your teeth would be bad shape. I'm, I'm interested to see, uh... What the doctor's gonna say. There's gotta be a doctor in this episode. I feel good. When I first found out Shannon drank gasoline, I didn't believe it. But when I small tone on her breath, more or less confirmed. Today her And that That's a conversation. Like, Mom, I have something to tell you. And her mom might be thinking, What is it now? Are you pregnant? Or this or and he starts saying, I'm addicted. And she's probably thinking, I'm addicted to what? She's never going to think in a million years of gas. Anything else but gas. Family has decided it's time to intervene before it's too late. We're all here. We want her. This reminds me of like intervention. So we got all the siblings. And they're going to write down their little letters and make her feel really bad. And she's going to try and get help. And... But no matter what, she has an addiction. There's an underlying problem. Let's be honest. There's an underlying problem she's dealing with of drinking gas. Now, addiction can be in many forms, and this is the way she's coping. Other people cope with uh, drinking alcohol, other type of drugs, and this time it happens to be gas. It's an expensive addiction. To get help now, like right now. There's no tomorrow. She needs to do it now. Hi. I just want you to sit down, please. Now I was thinking there was going to be some type of specialist. Is there like some gas specialist that you can call? Maybe if you go to the gas station, they can hook you up with someone from Shell that's heard about these gas addictions, and I'm just being an idiot. Let's keep watching. This is a this is kind of a crazy conversation they're going to have right now. Okay, well, we brought you here tonight because we want to talk to you about your gasoline issues that you're having, and mm -hmm. we want you to get help. Okay. Because we love you, Shannon. I know. Now, she seems very... not all there. Like, she seems like she's removed... It's hard for, hard for me to explain, but she doesn't seem all there. Not as she's crazy, but she seems like she's very numb to everything. She's not, I don't know how to explain. That's just how I feel. That she knows what people are saying, but she's going to be very hard for her to get help. Can I ask you one question? What? I just want to know why. Why, why are you doing this? How does it make you feel? I feel numb and I just don't feel any pain. And I know it hurts me, but yet I keep doing it because I'm addicted to it. Have you ever read up on it, on what it can do to you? Have you ever looked into it? No, I don't want to know. Okay, so most dads, like, would freak out. I'm surprised he's this calm and to say that I've never, I have no idea what it can do to my body, like, that's kind of naive, like, deep down, you know what's going to happen. But she's numbing the pain because she really doesn't care about herself or feels uh, low self-worth, put it that way. But I'm hoping she gets help. Let's just keep watching. Because I don't want to make this where I poke too much fun. This is a serious situation. 
And uh, that's why we keep watching My Strange Addiction. You can't believe that there's, these addictions are around. But you know what you need to know? Your body, you can't digest gas. It attacks your organs, your liver. And the worst part is if it gets into your lungs. If it gets into your lungs, you're dead. Do you want that? So he obviously did his research. So if it gets in your lungs, you're dead. Hey, buddy. But even when he talks, like, there's no emotion there. It's like she's dead inside. No. With you doing something like this so extreme, damaging your body, I don't understand. I don't... When you're harming your you can see how much of a toll it's taken on the on her mom i feel bad for her because uh she's probably having lots of sleepless nights to worry about her daughter herself it makes me feel that it's my fault and you doing this to yourself is killing me mm -hmm. I can't even describe how much I love you, Shannon. I'm, I don't know. Don't want to see you. Something's weird's going with the audio. So, uh, her little sister is telling her how she feels. I'm just gonna fast forward this a little bit. I'm gonna go straight to <laughs> doctor's visit. So everybody's they had their intervention. Hey, we're going to go see the doctor. Now, does this doctor know, okay, we have this uh, young girl coming in and she has an addiction problem. Did they just leave it at that? Or did they actually say, you know what? This girl is messed up and she's on the gas. She's on the petrol. Let's see how the doctor uh, reacts. How much gasoline have you been drinking? I'd say one to three ounces a day. That's a lot. Wow. It's like she's like, shit, girl. Like she, <laughs> she's probably thinking, how the heck is she even here? The gasoline. Any amount is toxic. Just drinking an ounce of gasoline can be deadly in and of itself. Are you aware of any of this? Not till now. Okay, come on. You can ask a small kid, and they know better not to drink gas. You're being so naive, like, I never thought of that. Like burning my lungs, burning the back of my throat. To me, that's fucked. I was absolutely shocked. It is highly toxic, highly deadly. It's very scary when you see somebody like this. Her next drink could be her last. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have a few little alterations in your So that's... For her to be drinking that long, she's kind of like a superhero. She's kind of like gas. Here comes gas, man. Because all she's... Like, all they're saying is, like, oh, here's a couple of alterations. It's bad. And we really can't see how much damage is done in her body, but... Teeth look good. She looks like physically she looks fine, but we really don't know in, in, uh, on the inside, but I'm sure other people, they'd be dead within a month. Well, probably caused by toxic substance. Is your tummy tender? Yeah, that hurts. That's the edge of your liver. Yours is already a little bit. So how does that happen? Like, how do you... What happens to your body to get rid of this gas in your system? It absorbs it? Does it go like is it passing through the the liver? And how hard is it for liver the liver to pass the gas? Enlarged. The doctor uses a needle to test for nerve damage. How's that feel? I can't feel that. You cannot feel Oh shit. Nerve damage? Like, yeah, you gotta stop that second, like. 
we need to get an update to see how she's doing right now because you're talking nerve damage like that's messed up that this is where your nerves have been affected from the toxicity this girl has head to toe problems i suspect there's not one system inside of her that is functioning normally you're destroying your nervous tissue your stomach and your intestines are already being affected your liver is enlarged she has no emotion like it's probably going in one ear out the other ear like if someone's telling you this stuff like i don't know you should have some type of uh, i expect someone to be in tears like yeah i need help like maybe they need to put her in a rehab facility or something because do you think she's gonna go back to her car and take a, a quick swig? Like, I have no idea. Do you appreciate how deadly it is? After hearing exactly how bad it is for me. Eh, I don't believe you. Me, and that I can already see the effects. It really freaks me out. Shannon, you could die. You could die tomorrow. What might someone believe in order to drink gasoline, putting toxic substances in their body? I don't know. Someone who's ignorant of what it's doing to them. So there's an underlying problem. I don't think that uh, this conversation is really truthful. She's in a lot of pain. And we don't know why, why she's in a lot of pain. There, we don't know what's really going on in anybody's life. But I feel bad for that uh, she's in some type of pain. But... This show is showing some strange addiction and it just happens that she's addicted to gas. If it was, if she was addicted to, um, meth or op uh, heroin, whatever the case may be, it'd be a normal, not, I wouldn't want to say normal thing, but it'd be a normal addiction. Someone who doesn't really like themselves or care for themselves. Your emotional pain, it seems to me, is so deep mm -hmm. that you're trying to give yourself physical pain so that you can feel it's okay to feel anger but there are healthy ways to express it and unhealthy ways what do you think this is unhealthy do you think you can heal these feelings i obviously have no idea so we're, we're getting into the deeper stuff i think this uh i don't know what type of doctor this is but uh you see, she really does want to help, and I think there needs to be a team of people trying to help her, and she needs to go to rehab and kind of get down to the the real problem, which I do not think is gas. You have no idea? I think you can heal these feelings, but you can't do it if you kill yourself drinking gasoline. You have to promise me you're going to stop, and you're going to stop now. I promise. I'm hearing all the damage that the gasoline is doing to me. So it really, it really struck me. I just want to get better and I want to not drink gasoline. I hope so. So that's the end of the, the video. Hopefully uh, Shannon gets better and uh, lives a long productive life. And uh, we'll definitely have to uh, watch some Strange Addiction together again. There's lots of uh, more wacky uh, episodes to come. So. Please like, please subscribe. Until the next time, keep watching. Peace.